Hello, you've reached Tuckles Gaming again on another hardcore guide on Diablo 4, this time with my sorcerer, or sorceress, or sorcerer they, however you want to dig it. So today, I have made a proliferation sorceress, and um, basically the entire build relies on instances of shock or lightning damage and you want to rely on lucky hit chance for it to proc so basically i will go into the talent tree here first and we'll start from here so basically every time i stun an enemy i deal 500 or 45 percent of my weapon damage as lightning damage to them every time i stun them paired with convulsions which is lucky hit shock skills have a 9% chance to stun for 3 seconds. So this being said, you want to stack lucky hit chance out the wazoo as you can get a pretty high proc rate with enough lucky hit chances. Uh, one big reason behind that is uh, charged bolts. It releases 5 lightning uh, bolts. So it gives you 5 chances every time you cast this to proc your stun, which procs extra damage. Um, Spark is your good uh, resource generator basic skill. It hits four times, so it shocks four times. So basically, again, four more chances. Um, and then I max out teleport, brings it down to a seven second cooldown and it does 680 damage or 43% damage every time I cast it. So um, if I hit multiple enemies, I can reduce that down to four seconds. And every time I teleport, I get damage reduction, which is really good for hardcore. So it's very, uh, they go hand in hand. Um, next we go into uh, static discharge and static discharge makes my crits generate 15% chance to generate crackling energy which is yet another instance of lightning damage which is yet another instance for a lucky hit to proc so your lucky hits can proc lucky hits is basically hence the word proliferate um, when I absorb crackling energy I gain mana this is a minor improvement. It's not a major uh, part of my build, but it helps a lot because of all the crackling energy that I will generate over the time. Uh, next, we go into unstable currents with the ultimate. Whenever I cast a shock skill, a random core, conjuration, or mastery shock skill is also cast. So if you can imagine, uh, something like ball lightning where it hits multiple times a second it starts to get ridiculous really really quick because you're casting multiples at a time all over all the time and then I get improved unstable occurrence gives me 25% attack speed helps a little bit not much but a little um, then we get supreme while unstable currents is active at crackling energy continually pulses and doesn't consume charges so basically every time crackling energy hits it consumes a charge and you have a bar where you, i believe it's 10 charges you can have a maximum of 10 charges so um yeah basically you know you, you do the math so now Lastly, we go into overflowing energy. Crackling energy hits one additional enemy, and each time crackling energy hits an enemy, my shock skill cooldowns are reduced by 0.1 seconds for non-elite enemies and 0.25 seconds for elite enemies. This can add up really quick. I've seen my ultimate come down off cooldown right away, but it's really... Uh, it's not completely random, but it can be completely luck, complete luck that you'll come off cooldown. So um, it's still a good way to reduce cooldowns, and um, this will further into my uh, further into my build once I'm done here. So um, 
we get electrocution uh, enemies deal 15% less damage for five seconds after being critically struck uh, it's just another survival talent paired with course and currents it really adds up quick so you're basically always guaranteed 15% more damage reduction it's really handy uh, further into the tree here we're gonna go into protection using a cooldown gramps 30% of my max life is barrier for three seconds uh, basically I am this build is pure defensive focused with one offensive ability one ultimate and one basic generator so basically I always have cooldowns that I'm using so I basically always have a barrier to generate which is uh, very beneficial especially to some of my legendary powers uh, Next, we go into Mana Shield. Every time I dump 100 mana, I get 21% damage reduction for 5 seconds. Once again, paired with Invigorating Conduit, it can basically guarantee I'm always getting 21% more damage reduction. So that being said, I already have 36%, uh, 66% damage reduction. Uh, a 86 91 percent damage reduction with improved charge bolts um, this is where it really starts to shine is the third time an enemy a single enemy is hit by cast of charge bolts meaning one of those or three of those five the bolt surges and does aoe damage therefore making my build much more efficient in packs and other monsters uh, lastly, Spark with Flickering Spark gives my basic generator a 4% chance. Every time it hits, it hits 4 times a second. So it's a 16% chance to form Crackling Energy, and it costs no mana. Really handy. Um, next, we're going to go into my Sorceress Enchantments after I finish my defensives. So we have Ice Armor, which is another great ability. Uh, gives me 39% base life in a uh, damage shield and then while it's active 5% of my damage is add of, added to the barrier so basically the more damage I do the more more barrier I have um, we go into enhanced ice armor I get mana regeneration while it's active and then lastly I will be going for shimmering ice armor which basically Enemies that hit me have 15% chance to freeze for 3 seconds. Kind of handy. It's not not the most important talent, but I'll get to it. Um, next, we go Flame Shield. 1 point. Uh, enhance Flame Shield. It's basically my um, oh shit button. And basically, it makes me immune for 2 seconds and does damage per, per second. And... Uh, mystical flame shield which gives me 25% mana cost reduction while it's active so I can dump skills or dump spells more efficiently while this is active I can probably get two or three charges off uh, casts off before um, this expires so instead of 29 it's now a quarter less which is what five so that's like you know 22 22 less or 22 lastly the most important part of my build is elemental attunement this paired with the legendary power gives me two different instances of resetting my defensive skills and elemental attunement has a internal cooldown but the legendary power does not so elemental attunement is based on lucky hit and the legendary power is based on being hit so um, basically paired together I always have things off of cooldown and I can always cast them and this definitely resets my teleport cooldown which is how I'm able to teleport so many times already before my hardcore build has come to fruition I can already teleport up to six times in a single combat fight uh, soon to be increased by evade charges which is what I'm about to go into with uh, enchantments so now I go
teleport enchantment. Uh, my evade is now replaced with teleport on a 12 second cooldown recharge. Um, when you get into tier 4, you can get plus 3 evade charges, meaning you will have plus 4 teleports, plus your teleport that resets on cooldown. Basically, you know, I could probably anticipate up, upwards of 12 or more teleports in a single combat fight with this enchantment in, in play. Next we go, uh, I went for charge bolts enchantment strictly for the damage reduction for the hardcore experience. Um, I would probably go into ball lightning if I, if I was not um, hardcore because um, of the season. It makes ball lightning orbit around you and my crits can spawn ball lightning and like I said, ball lightning, multiple chances can be a lot of instances of damage. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my skill tree. And then we're going to go into legendary powers. I have one in the bank right now because I just upgraded and I don't have the power. It's only fine, so I have to hold on to it. But basically, this is one of the more important legendary powers. I hope you find it sooner than later. It's the Unstable Currents, has 11 to 20% chance to cast an additional shock skill. So basically that means uh, if I cast a skill and it casts, it has 11% chance to cast again. And um, has another chance to cast again based on Unstable Currents. Um, so now, uh, we're going to go into legendary powers here. Uh, we're going to focus on, on primary stats as well. Uh, we want to go cooldown reduction, uh, max health, resistances, uh, lucky hit chance, shock skill damage, lightning damage, damage reduction, crit chance, and... Uh, max evade charges on your boots. Cooldown reduction, mana cost reduction, max health, lightning damage, max life. Uh, I said that already. Shock skill, and then uh, eat defensive skills on your amulet. And yeah, so now we'll go to legendary powers. So here's the legendary power here. Uh, taking da direct damage has a 2 to 6% chance to reset the cooldown of one of your defensive skills and this has no internal cooldown so it it can really uh add up real quick next we go into this uh and uh i will be replacing this once i receive more legendary powers there are some powers that are only drop only and i cannot replace this until i get it but basically with this I have a 10% or a deal 10% damage every t every second I stand still up to 30%. And when I teleport, it does not remove this buff. So um, you can you can see how it's kind of handy, but not the best legendary power in my arsenal. Uh, next we'll go ice armor gives me unstoppable immune to CC and gives me 10% bonus armor really good for getting out of a pickle um next being injured while crowd controlled gives you unstoppable these are kind of essential to your build um this is really important to deal uh 15 to 25 percent increased damage while i have a barrier active um with all those talents i always have a barrier active so i'm always doing 15 to 25 percent more damage um, this is irrelevant. This is just a huge upgrade. I was wearing the other offhand, so ignore that. Um, using a cooldown restores 15 to 25 mana. This also further improves my build because I have four cooldowns or three cooldowns that reset actively 
that give me mana every time I use them. So that's how I that's how I generate resources and how I'm always able to cast charge bolts. Um, Ring of Control, uh, ideal 25 to 35 percent more damage to immobilized, stunned, or frozen enemies. And with my lucky hit chance, I'm always stunning them. So uh, it's a big, big, big important power for me. And lastly, we go Chain and Protector. Uh, damaging elite enemy gives me a barrier. So it's just another instance of barrier generation for that guaranteed 55% damage boost. Um, yeah, that's my build. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, follow me on Twitch TV, Tuckles Gaming, and I hope to see you there.